video, I'm going to show you how to use the 8x8 virtual office and just do a run through of all the different things that you can do. First, we are going to talk about contacts and then we're going to talk about meetings, your phone, faxes, and then where you can find all your history. So we're going to start at the top here where this green button is. This is going to be your state, so right now we're available, but you do have the ability to change your different presences. And once you change this, everybody in your organization can see what status you are. Also, it's going to change directly onto your phone. So if we are away from our desk, we can use away. If you choose do not disturb, you won't get any phone calls. Everything will go straight to voicemail. And then you can also choose a custom one by adding in a message that says, I'm in a training video or I'm at a certain customer site. Next, we're going to talk about contacts. There are three different views in your contacts, favorites, recent, and all. As you can see, right now we're in all, so we have different groups here. And these groups are set up by your admin but there are going to be the different categories that people can fall into. And then you can see on the sides how many contacts are each category. To see into the category, you can just click the arrow and then everyone who is associated with that will show up here. Now you can see that these are all green, which means they're available. And then we've got some unassigned, which means they're probably offline. Also here, you can see that there's a blue star next to some of their names. This means that I have added them to my favorites. So I can have a quick view of people that I use regularly. To see your favorites, you just click up here into favorites and then you'll be able to see everyone in your group. To add someone or remove someone, you can just highlight their name, and then you'll get this pop out, and this blue star, if it's highlighted, it's in your favorites. If you click that off, they will disappear from your favorites, but they will still be in all of your contacts. Right here, you can see the different things that you can do with your contacts. I am call or you can video call them. I am will either pop up in their office view or you can text someone's number via your account. This means that you can just send a text to anybody's number and it will show as though it's coming from your DID number. You also get a pop up of different information depending on what you have in their contact. Right now we can see that in James's we have his department, his extension, his full phone number, mobile phone, and his email. Down here again, this is where you would add to favorites, get more information on James, view the history that you and James have had, or copy. Copying will send it to your personal contacts and this will then be able to show up in your Outlook as well. If you are in recent in your contacts, this is just going to show everybody that you have talked to in the past and this means that you have called them or texted them. You're not going to see the full history here. You're just going to see contacts that you have recently used. If you have too many contacts and you don't want to scroll through them all, you can here sort by name, phone number, or their department, which is their group. Adding a contact is really easy. You just press this plus button and you'll get the opportunity to either create a full new contact or import it from your Outlook or your Google account. And then it'll just give you different options that you can add and you can always add more detail like their address and any notes that you want. 
and then you just scroll to the bottom and click Save. Next, we're going to look at Meetings. Meetings is going to be where you manage all of your video conferences. So you have a couple different options here. You can choose to immediately start a new video conference, schedule one, join one if somebody sent you one, or view all your past meetings. So as you can see today, we have a meeting at 2.30, and then also anything highlighted blue is places that you have had meetings. So if I click here, I can see, oh, I had a meeting at 8.15, and then you can click into that if there was any meeting notes that you had added, or you can see who participated. The next we're going to go to is your phone tab. This is where you're going to manage all of your recent calls, missed calls, and voicemails. So starting from the top, this search bar, you can either type in somebody's phone number, and it'll bring up recent ones. So if I start typing in 503, I'll see everybody that has in my contacts that has a 503 number. Or I can start typing in somebody's name and I will get their contact information as well. To call this person, you can either double click on the phone number or you can press call. There is this drop down that you can use if you'd like, otherwise you can use your keyboard. Next we're going to look at voicemails. As you can see there's a red one here. This means that we have one unheard voicemail. And going in here we see that this is bolded so that means it is unheard. To play it you simply press the play button and then it'll drop down and you'll have a couple options. You can adjust the volume here, call back the number here, send the number a text. You also have the ability to save and download this voicemail. So if I want to save, I can just click here and it'll bring me to my files and I can choose where I want to save it. You can also forward this voicemail. So forwarding will send an the voicemail in an email to anybody you want. So I can click forward and then an email will pop up with the link to hear it and then I can send it to anybody in my Outlook. And then I also have the ability to delete it here. To close you just simply collapse here and it will save it. Say this is really important and I want to keep a reminder that I need to call this person back. I can click here and say I want this to be unread and it'll give me the little one here and that could be a good reminder to call somebody back. If we have a missed call, you'll have a one on the recents tab right here in the same area. So your recents tab, you can filter two different ways. Uh, one, you can just see everything that you've done or you can just click and see all of your missed calls. This green arrow means that you called out, and if there's no green arrow, it means they called you. There's a couple different things you can do with these calls. The first one is add it to your contacts. So say I get this number and it's actually one of my new customers and I need to keep it, I can just press this plus button and I get the ability to add to a new contact or uh, add to an existing contact. Also right from this page I can send them a quick uh, text and say you know I'll call you back later or something along those lines. Also this information will show you the phone number uh, whether it was inbound or outbound, the time and date stamp, the extension, and then also the duration. You do also have the ability to search anybody's name or phone number to get your history. Next we're going to look at the fax. So if you do have the ability to fax, this is going to be basically as easy as sending an email. To start a new fax, you just click new fax and then you're going to get this pop up. You enter in the fax number here, add the attachment and press send. 
and it's as easy as that. The way you know it's delivered is you'll get this check box here and it'll say delivered. And then it has, it'll keep a record of all the ones you've sent out or any that have come in. Again, you can choose all, filter just faxes coming in or just faxes going out. Or you can, of course, search by the name or phone number. The last tab up here is history. So this is going to be everything, text, fax, meeting, calls, voicemails. This is just a quick reference to find what you need. Uh, you can filter here by calls, voicemails, call recordings, messages, meetings, or faxes. Or you can, of course, search by the name, the phone number, or the date. If you're someone who uses a soft phone and your desk phone, the way you switch between that is clicking this phone here and you'll get a drop down. So right now it says that I'm calling for my soft phone, which means I'm using my computer as my phone, but I can switch it to my desktop phone and this will send all of my calls to my desk instead of over the computer. So again, in this video, we talked about the different states you can be in, your contacts, your meetings, phones, faxes, and where you can find all of your history.